Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Simon. In today's video, we're exploring not this book, but the concept around it, Dolores Cannon's Five Lives Remembered. The New Age bubble is not one that I've explored very much, to be honest with you. It kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies, but mostly because it's very in the woo-woo, a little bit too far away from my sense of reality. But this book is actually very interesting. And again, we're not exactly exploring this book, but thank you to the viewer, who recommended it to me because it opened my eyes to a different way of thinking of ourselves. Dolores Cannon and her husband are hypnotherapists and they've interviewed thousands of people and Dolores believes in reincarnation and believes that there is a process to our existence, right? One that starts off with levels and moves us into eventually some sort of very positive place, this place of knowing that we are not just who we seem to be. And that's very hard to process for all of us, I think. I think religious people kind of feel similarly where we are more than we are, when than we seem, where there's more out there, right? The reason why spirituality is important is because it is reality. That we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Sure about that? So I'm reading this book and they're interviewing this woman whose five lives are remembered through hypnotherapy. She puts on voices, there's period changes, there's sort of references to history. It's mostly dialogue. And it made me realize two things. There are so many bubbles I haven't explored. And two, what does it mean to be a part of history? Whether we have one life or many, I don't believe in reincarnation, but let's just go with it, okay? So we have one life, we have many lives. What does it mean to live a life? And it's nice in this scenario to understand that I'm listening to a woman who's reliving her past lives. Whether it's fact or not, it's still kind of the story. So what I like to do when I'm ho bubble hopping is I like to really jump in. So while I was reading this book, I really started to imagine what it would be like to be reincarnated, to have multiple lives, and to have it reflect your future your future life. You know, what does it mean to live and have many chances to redo things we might have regretted in the past? What does it mean to be living history? And that's really where I want to expand upon this. What does it mean to be living history? In this book, this woman has moments where it dates back so far that she is fighting in castles. And I'm sitting here thinking, what if that was our life? You know how we look at history and we think, oh, that's how they did it then? But we are living history now. So people are going to look at us and think, oh, that's how they did it then. We are all just versions of history. We are living history. Does that change our responsibility to the world? And that's the question. I think a lot of people do feel because we're living history that we owe the world some sort of something, some sort of obligation to sort of grow or be better or change the past or change the future, maybe change the present. And I really have to sit there and contemplate, do I think we're obligated to be good living history? Or do I think that because we're just history, we're blips in a map, we do not matter, in a really significant way, except we do, but we don't. Do I, do I care? Like if I moved back throughout history and I thought of the last 500 years of history, who do we actually know and remember and tell stories about? A few people, right? It's not every person who's ever lived. So maybe I, Brittany, can be one of those invisible people that no one remembers, that history doesn't remember. So it doesn't matter what I do. Or maybe I become someone that history remembers and therefore I owe an obligation to history to be a good character in history. Or maybe I am just good because I'm living my best life. Those are the questions that I contemplate while thinking about this idea of reincarnation. Because again, even though I don't believe in it, it's really nice to think that you could do it again so you wouldn't have to make mistakes. But then what is the moral obligation we have if we're just evolved animals on a planet? What is the obligation we have? What's the drive? Why do people judge people who talk a certain way, knowing that one day we're all going to be worm food and no one will remember us? Why does it matter on the micro what we do? When on the macro, what does it mean to even be alive? And that is where I think Dolores Cannon's work com comes in, is it challenges you to think, what if this is your life? One of the significant things about this book that threw me, to be honest, is her husband ends up going through this horrible car accident and he retires from the work. He spends his time with his family and his kids. Well, well, Dolores continues the work, but it doesn't mean that her husband, who had this amazing interview, this amazing realization, this amazing belief in reincarnation, that doesn't mean that her husband is weird for not wanting to engage in it. If anything, I would argue that he got into a car accident that forced him to live his life so purely and beautifully that he had to leave the work because the work isn't about him. When you do work, like I'm a YouTuber, you're not working 
for yourself. I mean, you are because you're making money, but you're really working with other people for them. And sometimes it's been proven that work is the reason you have a bad family life. Friends, family, neglecting your actual personal life. And that's what's the, con that is the conundrum that I'm seeing in the world is that when we give ourselves to our work, yes, we can help future generations, but it's also not bad to stop the work, to live a life where you're with your loved ones. Figuring out that balance is key. And I highly recommend this book just to explore the new age bubble. Five Lives Remembered, Dolores Cannon hypnotherapist, very interesting bubble. And it forced me to really contemplate what is my obligation as living history? Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So why's my life a mess? Please tell me Cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, da, da, da.